was burned on my back, on my sides, and on my arm. I was burned right here on my legs. This is where I'm burned right down my knee and my back. I was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma. I was diagnosed with ALL pH positive leukemia. I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Robin was burned when she fell into a bath of hot water. A hot water pipe burst in our home and caused third degree burns to Caroline's leg. AJ and our two year old daughter Olivia pulled over a pot of boiling water on themselves. When I went back to school, I was kind of afraid that the kids would make fun of me or that they wouldn't want to talk to me or sit next to me or be around me. When I was going back to school, I didn't want to be stared at. I didn't want to be labeled as the cancer kid. I couldn't leave her even to take care of myself. She was burned from me leaving her. And I thought that by me staying at the hospital, nothing else bad could happen to her. I, I didn't shower or didn't eat. I lost my job, barely combed my hair. I, you know, went for a couple days without sleeping, without eating. I would go to the cafeteria because the nurse would say, why don't you go to the cafeteria and eat? I, I was at Children's Mercy for about a month and a half. When I was in the hospital, I had about seven surgeries, and when I got out, I had two. Two weeks after starting chemotherapy, my hair began to fall, fall out, and this was the part I was dreading the most. my friends. I love to shoot hoops. And I love to swim. Tennis is my favorite sport. I love to shop with my friends. I love to go to the movies. We're kids. We're kids, just like you. Just like you. We're kids, just like you. Just like you. Just like you. I can't change what happened, but I can give my child love every day. Just like you. I'm uniquely positioned to care for my child. Just like you. While our family has suffered a great loss, I love and accept my family right now, and I cherish every minute with them, just like you. Gonna be fine. I was afraid my friends would treat me differently. Hey, do you care if we burn there? Maybe he shouldn't even be out here then. Maybe if people knew more about what I went through, maybe they wouldn't be so mean. Empathy is understanding the thoughts and feelings of another. It was helpful? Yeah. yeah. If you had a student come back in your class and you saw this film, would it be helpful for you to, would it be helpful for you to interact with that student? Mm -hmm. would, would it help? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would help me understand what they've been through, so it would be easier to we distributed the Just Like You video um, at a burn camp, a national burn camp for children. And so we had burn survivors from our hospital give them to burn survivors from hospitals from all over the United States. And some of those kids gave us feedback that teenagers who were 17, 18 years old, that I wish I had this whenever I was burned so many years ago because this would, it would have made my life so much easier for somebody to just pop in this DVD and have an explanation of what I went through so that they would really understand and they would really maybe have some compassion. And you know, it would have just answered a lot of questions that I didn't know how to answer as a kid. I went ahead and got online and watched it online and I was really impressed and I kept saying, ooh, but I want this subject and this subject and this subject. We had a kid um, who has gone through a medical illness and, and treatment and things like that. And when upon their return, the team teachers, counselor, everything sat down and said, would you like to talk to your peers or would you like us to do that? My goodness, if we had something like this to show them, mm -hmm. that would be, can you just make one on every child who illness? <laughs> 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 that should yeah. cover it. There was a boy in third grade at my school who was diagnosed with the same cancer that I had and I went and talked to his class after he was diagnosed and I think that 
He thought that that was cool that someone older who had survived what he was going through could talk to his class and explain it to everyone. And I think that if there would have been a video for everyone, for, for all, all classes that they could see, that would be really cool. <laughs>